read Chaitanya Chakravita. Prabhupada very kindly didn't make this place, of course, all Lord Chaitanya's child. for the English speaking people about how this place got the name, although His Holiness Bhakti Vijay Bhagwan Maharaj mentioned it in Bengali. I don't know how many people don't know Bengali here, but for the English speaking people I thought no harm to say it again that Antardweep, this is this place is known as Antardweep. Antardweep means it's a place where the heart of the Lord was revealed. The Lord revealed his heart, anta, anta. It's hidden in his heart. What was hidden in his heart was the desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to distribute Braja Prem, the mood of the gopis of Vrindavan and their deep love for Lord Krishna. So Maharaj was explaining how Lord Brahma committed offences against Lord Krishna by stealing away the cowherd boys and the cows and Lord Krishna replaced all of them, of course, the Brahma Vimohan Lila. So Lord Brahma felt very guilty of his offence and he came here and he came to this place. 5,000 years ago, after committing that offense, he came here and he performed austerities, he did great tapasya, and the Lord appeared in his form as Goranga. And the Lord told Lord Brahma that in the Kali Yuga, I will come in my most merciful form. And at that time, you can also come and take part in my pastimes. And at that time, you will take birth in a low family, but you will chant the holy name three lakh times every day. And you'll be very humble. So, of course, this was the prediction that Lord Brahma would come as Haridas Thakur. And he would be here in the holy dham and he would be chanting the holy name. So, Lord Goranga, but Lord Brahma, uh, said to Lord Goranga, he said that your pastimes are so inconceivable, so bewildering, it's very difficult for us to understand what is in your heart. And so Lord Goranga revealed to Brahma that in his heart was that desire to distribute the holy name, that everyone should be given the opportunity to chant the holy names of the Lord. And they should want they should chant within that mood of the do, the devotees of Vrindavan, in the mood of Braja Prem. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed this to Lord Brahma. This was the heart of Lord Goranga. This is Antar. So this place became known as Antar Dwi. And so this is the central place. Navadweep is in the form of a lotus and there are eight petals on the lotus. Maharaj mentioned the names of the different islands and they're in the form of petals and in the center of the petals is the, the world of the lotus. That is Antardweep. Right in the center of all the islands of Navadweep is this Antardweep. So, this earth planet is the best place in the universe. And on this earth planet, the, be the best place on earth is in Bharatvarsh. And in Bharatvarsh, the best place is Goramandala Bhumi. And in Goramandala Bhumi, the best place is Navadvipdam. 
and then Navadvip Dham, we're here in the very heart of Navadvip Dham, the Yoga Peak, Antartvip. In Antartvip, this the Yoga Peak, the place where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appears and where he resides eternally. This is the birthplace, the place where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appears to manifest his pastimes. Srila Prabhupada told us, birthplace is very important. We all know in the news recently there was a Rama temple in Ayodhya, the birthplace of Lord Ram. It was a very big fest, a very big fest, because the birthplace of the Lord, very important. And Prabhupada also told us his birthplace was very special. So now, of course, in Calcutta, we have also Prabhupada's birthplace. And here in Mayapur, this is the yoga peak. This is the place where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. So we have come to this holy place. We have come especially to get the blessings from Shetrapal Shiva. To enter into the holy dham, we have to get the blessings from Lord Shiva. Without his blessings, we cannot see the Holy Dham. We cannot see all the pastimes of the Lord. So we have come here to get the blessings of Shitra Shiva that we can enter into this Dham and perform this Parikrama. So everyone, before you go, Lord Shiva is just over there, on that side there. You have to go there and offer obeisances and circumambulate and pray to Lord Shiva to bless you that you can take part in this Parikrama. So now we're going to hear from His Holiness Lokanath Swami Maharaj. <laughs> 